is National Public Health Week, and I'm here with Bobby Bagley, Director of Public Health and Community Services, along with a number of our public health nurses that work for the City of Nashua, in our part of our celebration of National Public Health Week. Now, usually what we do on this day is we take a walk downtown just to get exercise and show how people should stay healthy. But in the midst of the coronavirus crisis, uh, we are here at Nashua South where we have an alternative recovery center. In case the hospitals are overwhelmed, additional patients can come here to the high school. Now, I wanted to update you as part of National Health Public Health Week on the great work that our public health department is doing with respect to this coronavirus uh, crisis. First of all, they are working seven days a week to keep our community safe and to limit the spread of the coronavirus. And Bobby is going to talk in a moment, but we also have Flavia, Nicole, Lisa, and Angela. And the reason we're all separated here is that we want to reinforce the point that in order to keep our community safe, we need to exercise what they're calling social distancing, try to keep physically separate from people, try to stay at home, try to go to the supermarket and the drugstore when it's absolutely necessary, but only when it's absolutely necessary. This is the way to stop the spread of the disease. Also, we have our masks with us. This is mine. Uh, this is one of the ones I have. This is to, uh, if, uh, to try to, again, prevent the spread of the disease. And normally uh, we, were, we might be wearing these, but right now, uh, in order to speak to you, of course, we've taken them off. But again, I want to thank all of the, the public health nurses for everything they're doing. Uh, what they do is they, in, they track every single case. We have about 60 cases in Nashville right now. And our public health department and our public health nurses, they track every case, they get in touch with every positive person who's attested positive, and then they try to trace down all of that person's contacts over the short period of time before the onset of the symptoms. And the point there is to identify who's had contact with a positive patient and try to get those people to isolate themselves, to quarantine, so that if they did contract the virus, uh, they can stay separate from others and limit the spread. Um, these, this is just, in addition to that, public health has been educating the population, our, our, our residents, about the social distancing and the way to keep our community safe. So again, I want to thank uh, Bobby and everybody who's working so hard, and I wanted to just let you know the wonderful, great, dedicated employees we have working uh, to keep you safe, working for the city of Nashville. So with that, I'm going to introduce Bobby, and then I'm going to step away because we are exercising social discipline. Thank you, Mayor. My name is Bobby Bagley, and I'm the director of the Division of Public Health and Community Services for the City of Nashua and the Greater Nashua area. As the mayor said, this is National Public Health Week. This year, the American Public Health Association is celebrating its 25th year of National Public Health Week but we have to do things differently this year. Public Health Week is about helping populations, community by community, understand the importance of maintaining its health and its well-being and making sure we can have the healthiest nation ever. The goal of this week for us, because we have to do things differently, is to engage with our individuals, our families, and our organizations to celebrate how our community works together to ensure that everyone has the best opportunity to live a long and healthy life in a safe environment. This week, what we're going to do is provide virtual opportunities to promote the importance of prevention, healthy practices, and working together as a community in our greater Nashua region. During each day of Public Health Week, we'll focus on important public health issues that are most critical to achieving the healthiest greater Nashua ever. Unlike past years, the spread of COVID-19 has changed our ability to host and do events together on site where we might have crowds gathered together. Instead, we're going to celebrate 
by making sure people remember to stay at home, making sure that you remembered your social distancing in order to keep our community safe. And what does that look like? You can still go outside and walk, you can still run, you can still jog, you can still do all of the exercises that you need to and want to, but you wanna make sure that you do that with social distancing in mind. Our Division of Public Health and Community Services is dedicated to fulfilling the vision and having an informed and safe and healthy and resilient community. And that's happening by how we've all been working together to combat and to stop the spread of COVID-19. We continue to work diligently with all of our community partners, and we're asking everyone in our community to do their part by staying at home as much as you can and by practicing good hand hygiene, wiping down your surfaces as you come into contact with those, not touching your eyes, your face, your mouth, and making sure that you stay at home when you're sick. To participate in public health and some of the activities that we have for this week, we invite you to visit our website at www.nashuanh.gov slash dphcas and follow us on social media. We want you to enjoy this week and this weather, but we want you to do it safely. And Mayor, we actually have a gift for you for Public Health Week. We have hand sanitizer so that you can wash your hands after touching different things. When no, you, you don't have, right. you can use that right now, when you don't have soap and water. And we also, because we care about vision and eye protection, we've got these cool jazzy sunglasses for you as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. All right. Happy National Public Health Week. Thank you to our mayor, and thank you to our dedicated public health staff for making sure we can have a healthy community.